the chiquillon okay and don't get a, don't be afraid to get down and dirty please make sure your hands are freshly washed you know because you're touching meat trust me i work in the meat department at whole foods so i know how this goes i work with meat all the time but i don't ever touch the meat in my hands though i use gloves so don't never gotta worry about that you want to take a little bit of salt not too much because you don't want your chicken too salty we also going to use our salsonidone which i showed y'all and this is a pretty good seasoning this is like for all purpose seasoning so i'm pretty sure you guys will like this so we're just gonna mix it in get down and dirty a little bit gonna mix it in really really good um also now we're gonna take our i'm gonna do the garlic powder first because this is one of the things that um like i said i haven't done it i've done a cooking tutorial for y'all so i just kind of wanted to you know do that for y'all because i'm like wait a minute i haven't done a cooking tutorial in a minute for y'all so i already know you girl gonna represent okay so just get down and dirty with it don't be afraid and then the next thing we're gonna do is take a little bit more adobo because that's one of my favorites i love my adobo baby and then last but not least we're going to take this goya it's called curry jamaican curry powder as you know um from the islands too so we love our curry powder as well as well as our um jerk powder and all of that so you already know baby <laughs> you already know so i have to get busy all right so now that my chicken is all seasoned, your chicken should kind of look like so, all seasoned and ready to go. Now the next thing I want to do, let me just turn you guys around so you can see what I got going on over here. So now, now that we over here, what we're going to do is, this is the pot that we're going to use for our chicken. So what we're going to do is, we're going to take our oil. Let me just bring you guys a little closer. I feel like you guys are too far away. So what you want to do is, you want to take your oil like so and pour 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 so you can't really pour no more i need the whole thing and this is really good oil this was oil that was previously used um i believe this was this might have been an oil that i used before i forgot what i might have fried or what we might have cooked but it had to be some type of chicken or something all right so now what you want to do you want to set your temperature to four like I always say, if you have um, electric stoves like myself, I go by the numbers. Um, I try to go like the highest, which would be like maybe four. And what you want to do is you want to put your top back on your pot so your oil can um, start to, you know, heat up really, really good. And then you can start, you know, start your chicken in a second. Okay, so now that we're done with that, next thing that we're going to do, as you can see, the, the, the iron, I mean, the eye is heating up a little bit. So now what you want to do is I'm going to take my pan here and I'm actually going to pour some water. I'm going to do start with some cold water. You don't need a lot of cold water, but you want enough. I don't really measure my water. Comment down below if you like to measure your water when you're um, cooking when you're cooking rice or macaroni and cheese or whatever i put my eye on three and a half and i like to put my um top back on and then the last but not least i'll do the vegetables last once the chicken is halfway done and then we're going to start to flour the chicken now that we've seasoned it we got our oil started we got our water started so now i'm going to take you guys back over here I'll move you guys back over here so you guys can kind of see what I got going on. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start to flour our chicken. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Don't be afraid to use your, your flour. It's all good. Don't be afraid to get down and dirty. It's your flour. So now that you've used all your seasonings, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my seasonings back because um, I don't like to um, clean as I cook. I like to, I mean, well, not clean as, I like to clean as I cook, but 
I like to not leave stuff out as I'm getting ready to cook because I don't want to have the extra stuff to do if that make any sense. So, excuse me for a minute, guys. I'm short, so I gotta climb up in this chair like so. I gotta put my stuff back where I found it because I organized my cabinets today. Um, comment down below if when you go food shopping, when you clean out your cabinets, how do you organize your seasonings? Like, do you organize it by um, the flavor or the brand? Or just comment down below and let me know what you guys like to do. How do you like to, um, you know, put your stuff together? Me personally, I like to, um, you know, go buy seasoning or whatever. All right, so I'm going to throw this bag away because you guys already seen what type of chicken that I'm using as the brand. Um, oh, that's what I didn't put in. We got my pepper. Can't forget that because I want my pepper in there too. All right, so we're just going to put a little black pepper in it just to kind of give it a little extra extra flavor i know it's been a minute since i've done this for y'all so i'm excited to even be doing this cooking tutorial for y'all because i'm like dang my stuff started ain't seen me cook in a minute they probably like dang what a food at <laughs> so it's been a little minute so as y'all know your girl is a little cleanser but that's all good we're gonna get that together so so you just want to kind of put your chicken in, okay, take your excess flour. Now what we want to do, I can take a little bowl like so. I'm going to use this little bowl and I'm going to dump the chicken in this little bowl so it'll be a lot easier once I start to put the chicken inside of thing and then I could take the excess flour that I dumped all over this plate and I could kind of dump it back into my chicken so what you want to do is like so you kind of just want to take your flour and kind of just dip it in I know I'm clumsy so I'm going to make a little mess but that's okay I can clean I'll clean as I cook I just don't like having extra stuff to do while I'm cooking because it is a lot. Okay, so now what you want to do is you kind of just want to shake your bowl up a little bit like so and then kind of just leave it there on top. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this up. I'm going to come back with part two once my oil is actually heated up. And then I'm going to show you guys part two. Like I always say, baby, I love you guys for watching. I'll see you in part two. Bye. All right, guys. So we're back with part two. Now we're about to start to put the chicken and the oil. And then we're going to put the rice on. And then I'm also going to show you guys how we do the vegetables, last but not least. So, baby, this is part two of this cooking tutorial. I'm making fried buffalo wing twings, Goya yellow rice, and sweet peas. So for the butter that I'm gonna use, guys, I'm actually gonna use this right here. I'm gonna use this butter, which is the parquet. Um, comment down below if you like to use parquet or if you like to use, I can't believe it's not butter, or if you like to use, um, happy boy, I don't know what you like to use. Um, all right, so let me take you guys over here. All right, woo, okay, so that oil is heating up, baby. All right, so now that you know that your oil is heating up, now what we're going to do is we're going to start on the chicken. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put... All right, chicken on the stove like so. So what you want to do is you want to drop your first piece in there like so. You're going to drop another piece. Comment down below if you like flat versus um, 
the drums, the little drums better, or if you like the drums better than a flat. I actually like both. I'm not really picky, because as you know, buffalo wings do fill you up. And these pieces of chicken are like really, really extremely little. So as you know, like I say, do not get too close to your soul. Like I'm doing baby, because you already know, your girl is clumsy. So you want to drop as many pieces of chicken as you can, depending on how big your pot is. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to drop one more. This one is a pretty big one. So I just want to make sure this is coated very well with the flour. Please make sure that your, um, your chicken is coated with the flour really, really good. Because if it's not, baby, it's not going to be good. It's not going to come out as good. All right, so what you want to do now is you just want to take your fork, take a fork like so, and you kind of just want to, you know, move the chicken around and see if you can fit a few more pieces or so in there. This should be enough for now because I don't want to overcoat the pot. So you want to put your pot, I mean, put your top back on your pot like so. Remove your chicken that you already um, have in the flour. Now we're going to start on our rice. So we're going to use only two ingredients for this rice, um, well no actually just one because as you know, I'm going to just take you guys, bring you guys over here. So as you guys know, um, we're using this kind of rice, the Goya. My water is already boiling, so what you want to do is you want to do is let me just bring you guys a little closer so you guys can actually see what I got going on all right so what you want to do is you want to take your butter or your parquet or whatever you're using and kind of just take it dip it in the water like so and kind of just swarm it around into the butter as you as you can see then you want to take your rice a packet of rice and like I said I like to cook um, easy little meals it doesn't take long to cook about maybe like um maybe like an hour and some change not even okay so as you know as you can see this is the Goya rice that we're going to use and we're just going to pour it in to the water like so And then you just kind of want to stir it. Want to start to stir it anyway. You guys can see I'm stirring it, stirring it, stirring it. And you kind of just want to turn the fire down a little bit. You probably want to put it back on like two and a half. This is for my electric stovers out there. If you have electric stove versus a gas stove. Because we all know a gas stove is very easy to use. But as you know, with a stove like this, you actually need, you know, that extra whatever. All right, so we got the chicken on, we got the rice on, and then we're just waiting for the sweet peas. We're going to let this cook, and then I'll be back for part three. I hope you guys are enjoying this cooking tutorial, another cooking session with me, uh, Mona4930, a.k.a. Dreamy Rose, as you know. Um, but I'll see you guys in part three. I love you for watching. Mm -hmm. Bye. Okay, guys. Welcome back to part three. So, this is the finished product. I have almost all my chicken finished. I have my sweet peas fully cooked. I put, um, this is the uh, actual um, butter that I use, the parquet. Um, sorry, my camera cut off on part two when I was trying to explain to you guys what kind of butter I put in my rice as well as my sweet peas. My sweet peas, I just added some parquet and some sugar. Comment down below if you like sugar in your sweet peas. Um, I personally like sugar in my sweet peas because it actually tastes pretty good. My chicken is pretty much done. I just have one more small batch to cook. And that's pretty much it, guys. So, like I always say, baby, if you are not subscribed to this channel, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. It costs you nothing. It's free 99 It's free 99 It's free 99 right now to subscribe to this channel. Like I always say, I love you guys for watching. 
thank you so much for rocking with me this long guys i really appreciate you like i always say i do need more sub subscribers and i do need more support so i gotta show more support i love you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video mm -hmm. bye